Good morning, good morning, I love you, good morning. Let's do my Libras, let's do my Libras, what's up with my Libras? I feel like you're super social, some of you, I definitely feel it, I feel it, okay, um, you definitely got your shit together, so that's nice. Let's see what that's all about. Work, 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 work. You guys are fixated on work. Either working something out, work in general. Let's see what's going on with my Libras. First two weeks of January 2019. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. All right, what are we working on? Love? We're working on love? Confidence? Pleasure? You're trying to balance something out for sure, Z's. It's a sticky situation, though. I can feel it in the deck. It's a sticky situation. Did you get that clarity? I don't think so. I don't think so. Are you going to deliver it? That was too many. Damn. Damn, my little Libras. What the heck? Thank you. I think it will get easier, okay? There's that fight. But to me, you're fighting for it, all right? You you want whatever this is to go to go smoothly, okay? Um, so... It's a sticky situation, that's for sure. Let's see. Alright, it's really getting on your path, okay? It's, it's, Having the strength to move forward, using your intuition on this one, okay? Being trustworthy. Um, it, it has to do with a new start. I, I think you feel forced, but you're trying, all right? You're very strong-willed right now when it comes to this. Are you being constructive enough, though? You know what I mean? Like, you're confident, You're trying to make this work. I don't think you got the clarity yet. You're trying. It's some type of contract. I, I think it's love and not work. It's, it's like... Oh, you guys must be antsy. It's like a fight to get on this path to have a new beginning. But it's here. It's here, though. Tell me about the Page of Cups. that truth with the hierophant it is you know it's spiritual too but it has to do with the relationship trying to work hard at this trying to really like get the truth is that clarity you didn't get yet but you see the thing is though you're good tell me about the sun unless you're dealing with a libra i doubt it though another libra but i mean or a leo you must be dealing with another Libra. All right, so you're dealing with somebody who's arrogant. Parties. Tell me about this King of Cups. So to me, I don't think you got the clarity yet. Or you're going over your options, or they are. All right, but they feel that connection with you. But you're dealing with an arrogant son of a bitch. That's got feelings for you. You could already be in a marriage with this person or a relationship, but I don't know how, like, are the feelings that strong? I feel like they are and they're not. This is weird. But you're fighting. You're trying. All right? But you're like, do, do I really want it? This is what you're saying. Like, do I really, though? Tell me about the two of wands. Because you're contemplating that. 
is you know the three of cups that could be a reconciliation that could be partying all right now nah, see so you do want to balance out the scales so you want it but you're dealing with somebody who's arrogant that is for sure but apparently you got love for each other or is this person coming in and, and you're being arrogant because you're like, can I get the truth? Can I get the truth? Can I get an amen? You know? Best advice, my Libras. Try to balance it out, okay? There is a new start here. You're kind of being rebellious to what this is. You're kind of just like, whatever. It's I think it's definitely going to require strength, you know. It's, you're feeling trapped. It's a lack of self-confidence right now, being afraid to take action. But to me, I don't think so. So somebody is all up in your energy field. The bottom of the deck was the high priestess. Secrets coming out, all right? And that four of wands is that stability. Can you get there? So when this person comes in, if you don't feel trapped now, it is saying you will. You will. And the Empress is right here. And you got the Hierophant right there. Well, that would usually be the Emperor. You might be dealing with an Aries now that I said it like that. But that's that stability I was telling you about. It's that foundation. Having the strength. You're a trustworthy person. You got to use your intuition here. You believe in something strongly. But what's happening right now at the forefront is someone's not taking action. Or you're afraid to take action. But it's illusionary. It's all in your head. So it's like you kind of have a tood. My Scorpio's had a little bit of an attitude right there, too. Um, let's pull you a lesson. Somebody wants to balance out the scales, though. It looks mutual, if you ask me. But you're waiting for that. You're waiting for that clarity. You're waiting for that truth. You're waiting for something to come in. And if something came in, you already had a conversation. Um, you're waiting for things to settle down. A lesson for my Libras. Being patient, not passing judgment on yourself, not being harsh in this situation, okay? It, you're definitely going to have a challenge, but this is being divinely guided. All right, you're going to have to have patience on yourself and with this person. It's going to be tough for you because you like things fair. And right now, something's not fair, but it looks like it will be balanced out. You know you know what type of person you're dealing with, or this is your attitude, okay? But there's love here, and it looks like the truth is, is going to come out. Libras. January. So this is going to tell me what path you're on or what you're about to take, all right? Because... It's like that one more fight. It's that reflection. And it's that four again. And it's, it's surrendering too. It's, it's surrendering something. I'm not quite sure. But you, you would know. Because I can feel it. But you're trying. Okay. Honor yourself too. Ganesha is here to help you find out the truth of who you are. The enlightenment of your own soul. And letting it shine. You reach the point of the life's journey where this judgment and criticism no longer serves you. It's imperative and imperative that you understand and appreciate whatever's happening in your own persona in all situations. Each of us has a unique path. Through self awareness and observation, everyone's working hard to get the same objective on this path to lead to a higher purpose. You have made great progress on your spiritual path, but now is the time to release anything and take responsibility for events in your lives that are not in your control anymore. That's that surrendering. Recognize the beauty in each of our paths. Bless everyone's journeys too. Appreciate the silence and allow your inner light to shine towards what needs to be done right here, which is communication. Through reflection and visualization, get in touch with the wise person that you are. So you're still not seeing something because your guard's up. So to me, it's that spiritual growth you need. It's, it's, what it's saying is you're kind of being a grump about it. But there's love. You want to balance out the scales, or they do. This is a tough one for you. It's tough. It's a sticky situation. I felt it. But I also feel, I also felt you wanting to balance out the scales. So at the same time, you have to partake in that. Let's see what you were last year. Beautiful new start in love. Don't be afraid. So I don't know if it's linked. It might be, because now you got a little bit of a tootie. A little bit of a tootie. 
kind of like my scorps. You're seeking that truth. But to me, it's saying, how about it's your inner truth? It's that spiritual truth. It, it's your clarity. Find your own clarity. Stop seeking somebody else. Answers from somebody else, if that's the case. So if you're in a situation where you're trying to get the truth from somebody, and you're not, seek your own is what it's saying. Love yourself. Build up the confidence. Go out, have fun, fun with your friends. Get your own clarity. Don't worry about this person giving it to you. You got options. But see, that connection's there. They're in your energy, too. Okay, so just take... <clears throat> okay. I just... Wow. <clears throat> and it talks about communication. You guys haven't talked this through yet. <clears throat> speak from your heart. Speak the truth. This is a reconciliation. You want it. Or this other person does. Wow. <clears throat> Holy shit. I don't know what you're harboring onto. But, um... It's illusionary. It's, you're making yourself feel like this. You're making yourself feel like the air to air. You know, it's only you trapping yourself with this negative thoughts because somebody, you don't want to take action. So you got love for somebody, but you're just sitting around. Or it's vice versa, however it resonates with you, okay? But you can reach that stability, that two of cups, like I said, from the get, from the get-go. But you got to put pep in your step. Change the way you're thinking. It's critical. It's critical. I'm going to pull you one advice card with this deck. But I think you, you, ha you could be very happy with this person. Libra, Libra. You, this person's energy is all up in your energy force. That's the way it's supposed to be right now. Okay. So, it's the moon. It's concealed right now. Because nobody's talking to nobody. But it is, it's time to come out. And if you're worried, one's the sun, one's the moon. You compliment each other. The love is there. This is spiritual. It's a spiritual read. It's a reconciliation. It's balancing out the scales. One's got way more feeling than the other one does. But you're both blocking it in your own way. I can't really explain it, but you would know exactly what I'm saying. But I think it just has to do with whatever's being harbored. It's, it was a tough spread, guys. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Do your best. Understanding. You need understanding here, too. Um, but you can have that foundation, that structure, because you had the four, you know. You had another four. So it's, it's possible you can have it, okay. Definitely, I think there's some trust issues getting started, but this is also destiny. Okay. Don't be too constructive on yourself, either. It's that rebellious... Screw you, dude. You have to start. This is a self-start. You got to get yourself out of this energy so you can start. Find who you are. And then proceed. Find yourself. You lost it. But not for long. So again, if this is a breakup, let it let it go. Find yourself. Stop seeking those answers. If it's not, and it's just you, and you're, you're on your own, you're solid, you're still, you still got the tood, but don't seek these answers. You don't need to. You don't need somebody else to give you the answers. Find them yourself and get on your merry way, okay? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an uphill, a little bit of a battle, but you can do it. But this really has to do with love, some type of situationship. If you're not in it, it's going to come around the corner. It'll be coming around the corner when it comes. But I think you got to adjust your tune. Your own thoughts right now are stopping you. This is a self-start. You want that new start? You want those options? You want that love? you got to find you. And then you got to incorporate things. This is a tough read. i got a couple different reads on my board here. Okay. Just a little conflicted. Just a wee bit. 
even though you know what you want, it's being held back. But you're holding yourself back. So if it's not you, it's the other energy. The universe is not holding anyone back here. It's either you or this other person, regardless of the scenario. Okay? Hang in there. I love you guys. Bye.